Focus News. Right now, police in Manhattan are looking for a girl who screamed and cursed at a family and then attacked a mother of three on the subway. It's going to cost you more to get in and around New York City, the toll hike that is now in effect. And it was another gorgeous day, but storms are coming and could make for a messy Monday morning commute. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. Sandra has the night off. We begin with that disturbing video of a heated exchange between three teenagers and a family on an F train in Greenwich Village. This is the girl police are looking for. Investigators say she attacked the mother of three and the person who shot this video. Here's eyewitness news reporter Kimberly Richardson. My flight or fight was not flight. But Sue Young, there in the gray t-shirt and glasses, tells me she doesn't regret what she did on board an F train. I want to be able to say, you know, don't do this. Thursday evening, Sue, her husband, and 11-year-old twin girls were on a southbound train at the West 4th Street Station. Cell phone video shows the family, who was visiting from Reno, sitting there on the left with a group of teens directly across. Sue tells me the trio started laughing and pointing at them. Trying to defuse the situation, she joined in the laughter. Their demeanors completely changed, and that's when the epic bombs and, you know, threat, it threats as in, like, you know, like, shut up. Heated words were exchanged between all. You hear Sue's husband calling the teens uneducated. As Joanna was taking this video, one of the girls who police are now looking for, she assaulted her three separate times. Started over, took me by the hair, threw me on the ground, and started punching me. Sue stood up, says one girl got in her face. I pushed her out of my face. That's when the the, the girl that w had attacked um, Joanna started attacking me. The girl in the white shirt and I were both um, like pulling hair. At one point before it got physical, the train was stopped and the doors were open. And so I asked Sue why she didn't get off. She told me she wanted to talk it out with the girls. I had to defend who I was as a person that I don't back off from words like that. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. A commuter alert this evening, and it is not the news driving.